Hi, my name is Alex Belisle. I'm a mortgage originator for Security First Mortgage Funding, a professional photographer, and I'm also very well versed in digital marketing. I used to sell it for years. Today I'd like to talk to you about a couple of tips that will make your online listing stand out from your competition. Editing is the fun part of the process. Once you have your pictures in place, you can adjust anything. Uh, I use Adobe Lightroom to edit my photographs, and it really allows me to touch every aspect of the picture. So, as you'll see in this video, I can raise the shadows up, I can darken the highlights a little bit, I can add a little contrast, and it makes the picture much more warmer and inviting to the people that are looking at the listings. When sites like Zillow give you 100 slots for photographs, it doesn't mean you have to use 100 photographs on the house. Now, I'm a firm believer in using anywhere between 50 to 60 pictures of the house to tell the story, but that's not the whole story. You also have the surrounding areas. Use pictures of the surrounding areas, foliage, Fenway Park, things along those lines, to sell the area as well as selling the house. Always read your listings before you publish them. Here's one I found at random while I was looking around doing some research for this video. And it talks about sitting in you living room, take you boat out on the pond. This reflects on the realtor who's listing it. Um, spelling mistakes, grammatical errors, not knowing the difference between you or your. If you don't take the time to make your listings correct, the people that are looking at it may be turned off on using you as their realtor because they want somebody who has that attention to detail that realtors are known for. On behalf of all of us at Security First Mortgage, I'd like to thank you for watching and I look forward to meeting you. Have a great day.